Remember, you are ultimately responsible for protecting yourself and for providing for yourself. Live your life with honor and integrity, and always be the wolf hunter. Don't be the sheep, and never be the wolf. So since this Choose Your Own Path SHTS Scenario video series took me a couple of months to complete it, I thought I'd do a video on some random facts about the video, so here they go. First random fact, I hesitated doing that scenario video because I kind of feel that some preppers who have YouTube channels actually want SHTF to happen, and then when it doesn't happen then they put their daydreams and fantasies into story form and then they make a YouTube video out of it. Now I want to state that I don't think that the Bizza Rizza Gizza in his EMP series means that he has fantasies about SHTF happening. I just think that he's got a knack for storytelling and he puts his imagination to his scenario videos. But I've definitely seen a few scenario videos out there by other YouTubers where they were definitely showing that they're fantasizing about SHTF happening. And for the record, I like having working hospitals and having ice cream and having air conditioning. So I do not want SHTF to happen. And here's the next random fact. When I was brainstorming about how to be creative with this video series, I suddenly remembered how popular those Choose Your Own Path books were in the past. And it suddenly hit me how I could put those end card links, you know, the links that show up at the end of YouTube videos, but that I could put those end card links to link to a different video to allow the viewer to choose which path they wanted my scenario video to take them. Anyways, I'm kind of hoping that using those end card links to make choose your own path scenario videos will kind of take off with other YouTubers. And for the next random fact, in the first story where the officer gets dispatched on a violent domestic as the male is driving down the road and beating his girlfriend, this is actually loosely based on an actual incident that I've been dispatched to. And another random fact that deals with the first chapter, in the incident where the guy continues to reach towards his waistband, is also based on another true incident that I had. In the scenario video, it's at the end of a foot pursuit, but in my incident it was after a long vehicle pursuit. Now I didn't end up having to shoot the guy and the guy eventually gave up, and no weapon was found either, but I believe to this day that that guy was trying to commit suicide by cop. And the next random fact. I actually did this story a couple of years ago in a scenario video, but it was really highly condensed and was only one video that was about 30 minutes long. But that was when I first started making videos on YouTube, and I had no audio editing equipment, and I only had a cheap microphone, and I only used peaceful scenery in the video as a backdrop for the story. Anyways, even though that video has almost 50,000 views, I absolutely hated how that video had turned out and it bothered me and bothered me until I finally redid it on this video series. So I hope you enjoyed the re-release of it. And for the next random fact, in the second chapter, after the character's neighbor is shot, the character accidentally mistakes his own pulse due to the character's own high heartbeat for his neighbor's pulse. This has actually happened to me in the past when I've been trying to feel for the pulse of a person that was actively dying. It's not an uncommon thing for first responders to feel their own pulse pumping through their own fingers during an emergency and mistaking their pulse for the dying person's pulse. And the next random fact, in the third chapter where one of the guys in the neighborhood, Watch, suddenly jumps up and starts shooting at a suspicious car, I purposely added that bit in there due to scenes that I've seen in The Walking Dead where one of the characters in the show suddenly senses something and then automatically just starts shooting instead of trying to convey what they were about to do to the rest of the group. Which then leaves the rest of the group scrambling to formulate their own plans. A good example of this is where Rick and the group are slowly walking into Terminus, at least I think this is the episode, and then Rick sees something and just automatically starts shooting. Anyways, this is just a pet peeve of mine when somebody within a group or a team suddenly takes forceful action without giving the others a heads up that things are about to get hairy. And in the final chapter, where the main character catches a marauder trying to steal out of the chicken coop, I actually play the part of the marauder. With my unusual work schedule, I actually shot that video at about 3 o'clock in the morning in my backyard. And since the members of my prepper retreat group all have regular jobs, well I had to shoot it by myself. So there I was by myself in my backyard at 3 a.m. wearing a hoodie and having my face covered with a camouflaged handkerchief. 
and then also shining a flashlight at myself while I pointed a gun at the camera. And the whole time I'm just praying that a neighbor wasn't going to see me and call the police. Because you have to remember, it was a dark night and the only thing a neighbor would have seen would have been a masked man pointing a handgun into the darkness at 3 a.m. Anyways folks, I hope you enjoyed these random facts about the Choose Your Own Path Scenario video series. And if you haven't watched it and only stumbled across this video, then I'll put links to the scenario video in the video card above and also down below in the description box. And if you did enjoy it, hey, do me a favor and share the video series on social media or a prepping website or something like that. It'll really help this channel out and I'll really appreciate it. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching and I pray that you have a good night.